Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I am back with a coat haul. So I don't think I have actually ever shared a coat haul on this channel. I did share my coat collection where I did like a declutter video and if you want to check that out um, after this video then you can click right here. I will also leave a link down in the description box below but in that video I share my entire coat collection which is crazy. So I really love dresses but I also really love coats so I have a pretty expansive collection already and I definitely didn't need more <laughs> but yeah <laughs> these were just too cute to pass up and I did another little declutter so I made some room in my wardrobe for them anyway I have a lot of pink faux fur some sparkle um, lots of coats that I think that you all will really enjoy and they're from a variety of brands so I will definitely leave that information as well I do also have pretty detailed reviews of most most of these brands on my blog as um, some of these are newer to me so I will definitely leave all of those down in the description box below if you are looking for a full review on any of these brands I will also leave links to all of these items down in the description box below hopefully all of them are still in stock but if not then I'll leave a link to similar items also if you're curious let me share my sizing information and if you already know this then feel free to skip ahead so normally I'm a size us 2 or 4 an extra small or a small but for most newer brands I usually go for a size small just in case and sizing varies on most of these but I think I got my true size for most of them also my height is 4'11 so if they look a bit long then that's why <laughs> okay with that being said let's go ahead and get into the haul so before I get into it I do want to share my dress because I have gotten so many questions on this from previous um, content like shorts and my blog posts. I do actually have a video of this. It is my Ivy City Co. review, so I will leave that right here and also in the description box below. But this is just what it looks like. It's really cute. I also have a discount code available and I have a discount code for most of these brands, I believe, maybe like half of them. <laughs> so I will also leave that down in the description box. I just wanted to wear something that was very neutral because most of these coats are pink, but some of them are other colors and um, I just wanted something that would go with everything. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Here is the first one. So this is from Unreal Fur and they have the best faux fur coats ever. The quality is unbelievable and I find that they run true to size. So this is my normal size and I think it fits perfectly. Um, I don't usually go for coats or items that are like too voluminous because I am very petite and I find that they overwhelm my frame, but I love this one so much. It is the perfect shade of light pink. It just reminds me of cotton candy and it has this like shaggy fur. Oh, it's so soft, so cozy. There's also a little collar right here. It is very cute. <laughs> so this is perfect for like Valentine's Day, the holidays, anytime really, especially if you are a pink lover like myself. It is adorable and the lining looks like this there's a little pocket as well and this is what it looks like closed there's some little hooks here in the faux fur you can't really see them because it's covering it but i just think it looks adorable i feel like the abominable snowman <laughs> in the best way of course this is the cutest jacket ever i just i love it and the shaggy fur kind of reminds me of the 70s so it has a little vintage vibe you can style it a lot of different ways and yeah i'm obsessed here is the next one so this is one of my most worn coats this season if not my most worn it is so beautiful it goes with everything and it's pretty much the same color as the last one <laughs> Um, I guess I have a type when it comes to coats, but it is the most beautiful shade of light bubblegum pink. Oh, absolutely beautiful. It has this faux fur collar. It is detachable, by the way, which is nice just in case you don't want faux fur and you just want more of like a smart look. It has some larger buttons. Uh, these give me kind of a vintage vibe. It's very like, I don't know, kind of 60s, like a modern swing style. I love it. There's pockets, of course, and the lining is really cute. So there's a little hidden pocket there. And then you have like a cream and black stripe and it's really pretty little pattern inside. Um, I'm not sure if I said, but this one is from Kate Spade. I got a size two which I think 
is usually my Kate Spade size. I find that they tend to run either true to size or a little bit on the larger side, but this is great. I still have plenty of room, especially with my hips. Um, it fits really well. I love the length on it. It's very cozy. It's very well made. This was quite expensive, but it was on sale. So I got a really great deal on it. I think I got it maybe during Black Friday or something. Yeah, did not pay full price. I hardly ever do. <laughs> but I have a lot of Kate Spade coats in my coat collection and probably one of my favorite brands for coats and handbags and pretty much everything, but all of their coats are just beautiful quality. They last forever. This is a good one. I've gotten so many compliments on this one online and offline. Highly recommend. And if you are wondering, this is what it looks like closed. Also, here is what it looks like without the faux fur. It's very elegant and sophisticated and then of course the faux fur just gives it uh, more of an old Hollywood glamour look. So which side do you prefer? <laughs> Obviously I love this one. <laughs> um, definitely more glamorous but this is a very smart look for work or if you ever get tired of the faux fur. Here is the next one. So this one is from J. Crew, and this is their lady coat. I am obsessed. So I have an older one that I got secondhand and I love it, but it's too small. It doesn't fit me anymore. <laughs> it is on my Poshmark though, just in case you are interested. That is also linked in my description. So this is a beauty from J. Crew, and it is so ladylike and elegant and just very elevated. I am obsessed with the shape. It is beautiful. The color is what initially drew me in. Um, I have a lot of pink coats. I have a lot of pink in general, but I do not have anything with this particular shade of pink. I just knew that it would sell out, which it did, <laughs> unfortunately. So I grabbed it. I did get a size four. And initially when I tried it on, it was a little bit too big. This dress does have lots of layers. So it actually fits really well with this dress. Uh, but I do find that J crew like Kate Spade tends to go a little bit more on the larger side so I'm normally a size 2 in J crew anyways so yeah this one has some pockets and then there's these really pretty gold metallic buttons this is the lining it's just a really beautiful like silky material I love the color is so beautiful and this is what it looks like buttoned it's a little lumpy from all the pearls on my dress so don't mind that but it's really really pretty. Uh, I absolutely adore the color. I love the length. I think it's so beautiful. Um, it's kind of crazy how much a coat can change your outfit because I'm wearing the same dress throughout this whole video, um, but it's just crazy like how different coats and different shapes can create different styles of outfits. Here is the next one. So this is from a brand called Goelia. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is kind of a newer brand to me, but not really. So I have a few of their dresses in my wardrobe and I really like them, but this was my first coat and I am obsessed. It is so different than anything else I have ever seen and I love it so much. I've actually worn this one quite a bit this winter as well and I've gotten so many compliments online and offline. It is absolutely beautiful. So I would say just get your normal size. A lot of people wonder like if they run a little bit big, but I think that they run pretty true to size. So this is a size, I think it's a size small. Yes, it is a size small. I probably could have actually gone down to an extra small because it is a bit oversized, but um, I don't mind that because I can wear this with like a thicker sweater or, you know, like a, a dress like this. It's pretty versatile that way. Uh, so anyways, so this has a nice like teddy coat look to it. It's very fuzzy and soft and just ugh, super cozy. And then the sleeves are this beautiful soft faux fur. And this one has bracelet sleeves, which I love. It's very vintage looking, very glamorous, but also very wearable. And of course there's some pockets and this one actually has a hood. It definitely gives like snow princess vibes. <laughs> It's really cute. And initially when I got this coat, I actually didn't know there was a hood. I thought it was just a faux fur collar. So yeah, it is really 
really cute. I'm obsessed. So this is what it looks like buttoned. There's also a little button up here and you have a little tie around the waist. Uh, you can tighten it more. I just kind of did it quickly, so it's a bit loose. Yeah, love the length, love the look. It's very glamorous and girly and the perfect shade of pink. Here is the next one. So this one is also from Goelia and it is another version of a teddy coat. <laughs> so it has this really beautiful, materials like really really soft and cozy i also love this little etching pattern this little crisscrossy i don't even know what you would call that i've never seen that before but it just gives it a very unique look also um, this is a size small this is what it looks like on the inside there's also a pocket it is very similar to the last coat. I would say that the last coat was more oversized and thicker, but this one is also pretty thick and it has a really cute little shift shape. Um, very like 1960s. I just love it. <laughs> and on the sleeves, you also have that etching pattern. And up here, you have a little Peter Pan collar and a bow. So this bow is actually removable. So you can wear it just like that if you prefer, or you can wear it like this, which I think is adorable. I love a good bow. <laughs> so this one is like a velvety black with these beautiful rhinestones on the side with just a hint of glimmer. There's some on the bottom there as well. And it just looks really, really cute. This is a cute coat. And the color is a cream color, so it's not white. Very cute, goes with everything. I love the shape. I think it is just such an adorable coat. Here is the next one. So this one is from Karen Millen, and this is a newer brand to me. I had my first experience with them maybe a few months ago, maybe like September. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure, but I love their clothes. They are so beautiful. So the thing about their sizing is that I would say that they do run slightly small, but they run true to size in their sizing. And what I mean by that is for UK sizing, I'm usually a size eight and for them I'm a size 10 and I went by their sizing chart and my measurements so as long as you go by their size chart you will be fine so this is very true to size and I would say all of their items are true to their size chart yeah and I have several of their dresses and coats now so this one is one of my very favorites from them it is also a beautiful cream color um, there's some pockets some beautiful buttons and of course a faux fur collar that is removable. This is such a smart coat. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Also, there's buttons on the sleeves. How beautiful is that? So it's like part glamour and part workwear. <laughs> I feel like this could work easily for a night out or an event. Um, and it would also work for going to work as well. The length, this is like a maxi length. So it goes just to my ankle but also i'm not sure if there was a petite version of this coat and if there was i missed it but this is just like the regular size so it's just this long um i actually really like the length though i think it is actually really flattering on my petite frame and i think that it would work well for any height pretty much and this is what it looks like closed so chic it's like like a wool trench style very pretty so here we have it with the faux fur color and then we have it without. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> I really love both. I think they both just absolutely look gorgeous. The quality is just absolutely amazing as well. First experience with Karen Millen, highly, highly recommend. This one is also from Karen Millen and it reminds me of a Barbie coat. <laughs> it is so pretty. I just love the color. So it's this really gorgeous magenta, absolutely beautiful. I love bright colored coats in the wintertime or just fun coats in general um, because winter can be so dreary and depressing and sad so it's just nice to have a little bit of fun with fashion and add a little bit of joy into your day <laughs> so i also got the same size in this one my normal karen millen size fits beautifully it has these beautiful gold metal buttons there's some pockets on the side and this one has a really beautiful lapel as well 
This would be a great work jacket or just a really nice kind of everyday coat in general. And it also does have a little tie for the waist as well. And this is what it looks like closed. Here's a closer look at the belt. So it's not a tie belt like the other one. This one has some buttons. There's also some buttons down here. Um, I do wish that it had more buttons on it <laughs> just so you could get a tighter fit or a looser fit because there's only two sets of buttons. So it would have been nice to have have it a little more customizable I guess. Overall I think it's a really beautiful coat. The quality of course is just immaculate and I adore the color. This is also from Karen Millen and I am obsessed. <laughs> so this was my first ever coat from Karen Millen and oh my gosh it set the bar so high. <laughs> it is the most beautiful coat I have ever seen in my life. So this is not embroidery. These are actually rhinestones and it goes across the back as well absolutely breathtaking so beautiful so sparkly like when you go outside in the sunshine they just glimmer and oh it's so pretty so this is uh, a true black and the length comes to like mid shin on me. I do know that they have a petite size for this one now. At the time, whenever I got this, they did not have a petite size. It is a bit on the long side and I do wonder what the petite size would look like on me. But to be honest, I kind of love the longer length. I think it's really nice, especially with longer dresses like this. It just shapes it so beautifully and it makes such a statement. And this is what it looks like closed. It has kind of a menswear vibe to it. Very, very pretty, but also a little aspect of glamour as well. This is definitely a showstopper type of coat. Um, I would wear it to, I don't know, anywhere. <laughs> I am obsessed. Also, I got my normal size for Karen Millen and I think it fits really beautifully. There's pockets on the side and yeah, overall, I really, really love this one. Now I have a few lighter weight coats that would work well for transitioning from winter to spring. So this is a new release from Ivy City Co. This is the same brand that made my dress. And this is called the Maxine Coat. It is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love this lilac floral print. The background is definitely a cream color and it has kind of a waffle texture. There's pockets and some large buttons and it also has a tie and then also some ties at the wrist, which is good because it is very long. <laughs> so this one definitely runs oversized. I'm wearing my normal size small and I definitely could have gone down to an extra small uh, or even an extra extra small. It is huge. <laughs> also, it's a bit long, but I do quite like the maxi length on me. I think it's really pretty and really twirly and fun. Before I cinch it in, I wanted to show you how large it is. There's a good like eight inches of fabric <laughs> in excess. <laughs> Um, luckily the belt does help with that. So yeah, let me show you what that looks like. Ta-da! <laughs> so it really gives a very fitted look to it. I love it. And actually maybe the excess material is okay because it makes the skirt that much more flowy. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is like modern day Audrey Hepburn with a spring twist. I absolutely love it. This one is actually a raincoat, and let me tell you, it is the most beautiful raincoat I have ever seen in my life. It's from Rain Sisters, and they have a lot of gorgeous, twirly raincoats with different colors, different prints, and they are just incredible. The quality is perfection. <laughs> it is so beautiful. This is my very first coat from them. It just arrived not that long ago, so trying it on for the first time. Um, initially, I did get an extra small, and and it fit, but I couldn't fit a lot underneath it. So I went with the small and it seems to be a much better fit. The print on this is just beautiful. So it has a mauve pink background and these beautiful like rosy colored florals. Just dreamy. Well, like more of a berry color. <laughs> And it also has this beautiful silky lining and a hood. And here is what it looks like closed and with the hood. How cute is that? <laughs> it is so cute. Oh my gosh, I just love this coat so much. It's like a coat, but in 
dress form. <laughs> it has the prettiest, flowiest, full skirt. It just twirls like a dream and it's a good weight as well. This is a really nice, beautiful, high quality raincoat. <laughs> just dreamy. Also, um, this is the belt. So the belt is sold separately. I do want to mention that and there's no belt loops, but I think it looks really cute with it. And since the small is like just a tad bit large in the waist area, it kind of brings it in together a little bit more, but this is what it looks like without still beautiful, still twirly and still ultra feminine. This one is from a brand called Bubish or Boobish. <laughs> I'm not really quite sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, so this one has beautiful mauve color, gorgeous silky interior, and I love this fur. It is so, so beautiful. So um, this actually does not come off. It's part of the coat, so it's not removable, but it is really, really pretty. There's also, I think, some pockets. Yes. And it's really cute. So this one is more of a shorter coat and it does have a little sash around the waist. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this one though. I recently got it and I thought it was really, really pretty, but I'm not sure about how I feel when it's closed. Let me show you. Okay. See what I mean? <laughs> so I got my normal size and I've never gotten anything from this brand before, so I have no experience but I don't love how it fits when the belt is closed because I feel like it doesn't account for those of us that have wider hips. And I do run into this problem from time to time. So it doesn't quite like cover everything, which is kind of weird. So it's almost like it's missing material, but I do think it's very pretty. So I don't know, what do you think? Should I keep it or should I send it back? And this, is the last one. <laughs> so this is from a brand called Jaylee Collection and they are a UK brand. In fact, a lot of these brands are UK brands. <laughs> they just make a lot of really cute stuff. So they make a lot of really fun statement pieces, lots of really colorful, off the wall, very um, extroverted type pieces. Um, so yeah, this is their sequin trench coat and it is so cute. Um, I got it last year, but I wanted to include it because it's just so much fun. So the fabric is actually velvet with these iridescent sequins all over front and back, all over the coat. Really cute. Here's what the lining looks like. Uh, there's pockets right here. You've got some buttons. There's the collar. It is so cute. <laughs> it's very very Barbie. And this is what it looks like closed. <laughs> so the only thing that I don't love about this is that it's very straight. And I feel like for my body type, it really needs to come in at the waist. So I would have loved for there to be some kind of belt or sash um, at the waist just to kind of bring it in a little bit. Um, also, I did get my normal size and I would say it's a little bit large. So I do prefer for this to be open rather than um, buttoned up. But overall, the uh, style is really cute and I love the quality and they just have a lot of really fun pieces that make a statement. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this feminine coat haul. I would love to know which of these coats was your favorite. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Obviously, all of them are my favorite, <laughs> but I do really love the Unreal Fur and the Kate Spade coat. Those are probably two of my most worn for this winter season. I have just worn them to bits. I love them so much. They go with everything. But truly, I love all of these coats. They are just absolutely beautiful. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up below and don't forget to share and subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the community, especially if you love feminine beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. And if you love pink, <laughs> I think you will really enjoy my channel. If you want even more content, make sure to check out my blog, lizzieandlace.com. And don't forget to follow along on my pretty pink Instagram at lizzieandlace. I will see you next time. Bye.